Live from the Jersey Shore to the world. Get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Take the show wherever you go. Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation. 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I am Phil Brilliant, guest hosting today for Jeremy as he's off the next two days. It is 7.10, which means everybody should be getting up, getting out, and doing something. In this beautiful day, it's 56 degrees here in downtown Toms River with a high of 71 today. So I do believe spring is in the air, summer's around the corner. So what better to talk about than beautiful Point Pleasant Beach, and I am joined here this morning with the mayor of Point Pleasant Beach, Stephen Reed. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Phil. This is this is great for having me. Thank you so much. Uh, oh no, glad glad to have you in here. Is this a normal time you wake up every morning? Absolutely. Matter of fact, starting January when I first became mayor, uh, we have a walk with the mayor at six thirty on the boardwalk every Friday, and and now we're we're riding bikes on Wednesday. So this is fine for me. I'm up. I'm ready to go. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great idea, too. How many yeah. people join you? Uh, you know, listen, uh, we, we walked through two snowstorms. We had like 10 people. <laughs> it, it was amazing. Pe- people did come, uh, did want to speak with the mayor, uh, had some issues to talk about, but they also want to get, get well. So I have a wellness program in town, and I started that, and it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun to be with people riding bikes on the boardwalk, walking on a boardwalk with the sunrise coming up. You just really oh, can't, can't beat it. It's beautiful. In my In my younger days... We used to get together early in the morning and run the boardwalk. Yeah, it's great. And uh, yeah, I don't. I run the stairs now. That's about all yeah, the exercise well, I get. So yeah. I should probably join the Point Pleasant Beach Walkathon. On Come on out Friday. Friday six thirty. I just I just gave you a hat. It's a beach hat. It says yep. Mayor Reed's team. Anyone who comes out and rides and walks with me, and uh, we've been doing some work in town where people have been volunteering. Uh, th- those uh, students and and residents of the town have been coming out and. Uh, um, working on certain projects, they also get a hat. So they're part of the team. So we love to have you. Oh, that's great. I may have to get up there. Now, tomorrow I'll be out of town, but we'll definitely <laughs> definitely get up because I, I will tell you, I told the story already, Point Pleasant Beach, love it. It oh, is great. really the, the beach and the boardwalk I went to when I did come down to the shore as a yeah. kid. And uh, even these days, I, I get over there, and it was where I had my uh, my first date with my uh, my wife at the time. Nice. And uh, well, actually, I guess we were dating at the time. And you know, I said we uh, we rolled the uh, we rode the spider. I know the spider. The spider, and uh, <laughs> the next uh, eleven yes. years was a roller coaster from and, there. And, so and, and it spun around like crazy. It's a lot of fun. Listen, to what what's not to love about Point Pleasant Beach? I mean, yes, we have the beach, we have the boardwalk and rides, and, and a great aquarium. We have great fishing. The downtown is doing fabulous we have a rest we have restaurants down there now that are just people are coming from all over to go to the restaurants so we're really happy about that and of course the school system is you know second to none yeah it's and and the fishing industry i mean we're we basically have it all we're very excited about it yeah it's a great it's a great little community it Mm -hmm. was one of those um things that when you're you're down there it seems like everybody knows each other you walk into the shops i i did some shopping and down arnold avenue there you walk in and people just sit there and talk to you yeah, no, it's great, and, and the shops are great. And I have what's called a, a shop local program. I'm going to be, start, I'm going to be starting that soon. Uh, basically, every resident and, and uh, um, second homeowner is going to get a card, so they're going to get a percentage off their tax taxes if they shop local. So we're, we're really excited about oh, that. Oh, wow, that's an awesome program. Oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, shop local program is really, really something. We're really and when's that starting? Uh, probably about a week or two. We, oh. we have to get some cards printed up. It's taking a little time to get there, but... Uh, uh, it's going to be ready for the summer. Well, we'll have to definitely get you back to talk a little bit more about that because yeah. that sounds like an awesome, and that's yeah. for locals. Yeah, yeah, for locals, yeah. For locals. And then, you know what, we, we also might uh, expand that to uh, Bayhead and Man Logan residents uh, because the more the cards are out there, the more people are coming to shop at our local community. Uh, it, it's best for everybody. That's and great. also what's great is that you get a percentage off your taxes. Oh, that's so, perfect. Uh, so we are really excited about it. It's good, and you have the train right there in the center, the there. which brings people in from New York yep, and all around yep, yep. because you can go to the beach. Yeah, I mean, you know, brings people from New York, but also from you know, like North Jersey, and uh, you know, sometimes people say, "Oh, you know, you know, uh, you know, Point Beach." You know, Point Beach is made of people from from North Jersey. You know, my best friends from Jersey City, and other ones are from Bayonne, and, and you know, and up north. So uh, our little town in Point Pleasant Beach at the Jersey Shore is made up of people from Staten Island and, and, and Jersey City and Bayonne and, and towns like that. But you're a lifer. Uh, I'm a lifer, yeah. yeah. Born, uh, I was born in, in Lakewood, uh, and then first grade, I, I lived in Jackson until first grade, and then I moved to uh, Point Pleasant Beach. Diane Turton 
Uh, her first house she ever sold was to my mom and dad on Bay Avenue. So oh, wow. <laughs> she, every time I see, she goes, "I want to buy that house." You know, that was that was her first uh, sale, and and now she's as as big as it gets. Yes, yeah, she is. She is. She's That's great, great too. So, uh, Beach High School or yes, Point Beach High School. Graduated in 1983. Uh, I, I like to say I had my 15 minutes of fame. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and uh, my daughter's graduating uh, um, this this year. Another couple more weeks, and. She's had an amazing run there also. It's just it's just a great school system. I mean, you know, every time you look at, you know, top 10 or top 100, Point Beach High yep. School and Grammar School is right there. We have great teachers and, and just, it's just a great community. It's a very warm and, and you know, good-feeling community with the beach and the boardwalk. And, you know, some, some things that are coming up, you have a big, big, uh, big event coming big, up big in announcement big you know big announcement uh, we have the point pleasant beach offshore grand prix coming uh next sunday is 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 the race there's two races one at 12 and one at two um but leading up to that that's this is the this is the real fun part um this this used to be the old benny Hanna grand prix right. so anyone who's listening to me uh who i'm 51 so anyone my age and older gets it uh was there uh, has the memories uh again our town is is a is a town where memories are made um, and uh, everyone uh, remembers the um, the Benny Hanna Grand Prix. So I'm excited about bringing this back. Uh, we're working with the uh, Offshore Powerboat Association. Uh, a lot of uh, Powerboat Association members are from like the Ocean County area. Right. So some some local boats are going to be there. We're really excited about that. Uh, on Thursday night, uh, the Offshore uh, is going to you know we're going to start with uh, meet the racers at the uh, Jack Baker's Wharfside Patio. And so some boats are going to be in the water. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be you know band playing, of course, and it's going to be right on the water. Um, and uh, it's also going to be an opportunity for the big brothers, big sisters to have a fundraiser. Uh, oh, okay. So it's going to be a great night, a Thursday night. On Friday night, we're closing downtown to Point Pleasant Beach, uh, Arnold Avenue and uh, Bay Avenue. And there's all going to be boats all lined up. There's going to be a sidewalk sale. So all the businesses are going to be participating. And then we're also going to have... Um, uh, two two bands playing, so it's going to be from four to eight, and that's just going to be a lot of fun. Again, when I was a kid, you walked around, you know, you met the racers, you know, you touched the boats. It was a lot of fun. So that's what I'm bringing back. So all the boats are going to be on display. All the boats can be on display. Now is and, that on Arnold Avenue or on Ar- 30? Arnold Avenue? Um, so from 35 uh, all the way down to the Elks, oh, Arnold that's awesome. Avenue will be all closed off, and Bay and Bay Avenue also. Um, you know, we have. Um, you know, a lot of great boats coming. Uh, the Miss Geico is coming. Uh, Miss Geico is 40 foot long. With the trail, it's 90 foot long. So we're going to have to have a police escort into the town because there's only so many roads that this, this boat can turn on. So we're really, really excited. And, uh, you know, they have a, um, a rivalry uh, with one of the boats called Alex and Ani. And so uh, th- that boat is coming down from Rhode Island. I spoke with the uh, owner and uh, driver, and he's really excited. In the 80s, he won some races here in Point Beach, so he's excited about coming back. So it's going to be great. Friday night is going to be a great time. On okay. Saturday. Well, we're going to hold that. We're yep. going to hold Saturday off and yep. Sunday. We're going to hold it off because we're going to have to go to break. But please join the conversation at 732 505 1160. We're going to talk more about the offshore race and what's happening on Saturday and Sunday next weekend. Back in a moment. Stay tuned for Preferred Company with Joel Markell and Marianne Levy at 8. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin continues next. News Talk Radio, WOBM, AM 1160 and 1310. Now, back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio, WOBM, AM 1160 and 1310 and WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. We are here talking to Mayor Stephen Reed of Point Pleasant Beach. And uh, we are talking about the big race next weekend in Point Pleasant, the weekend of May 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And we started talking about rivalries and talking about, you know, I mean, is there really, I mean, how many boats are coming in and how many people want to make sure they beat the next guy? Uh, well, you know, this is around over 40 boats are coming in. There's eight different classes. The race on Sunday will take place at uh, 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Um, and uh, so they, they, they take it seriously. This is a, this is the start of their season, and they're, they're traveling all over. For instance, Miss Geico's coming up from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Right. You know, so, you know, they, they travel around. Uh, so they do ocean and lakes, and they're, they're very serious. And, uh, but they, they have a lot of fun. Uh, I've been working with them, and uh, they are very professional, and they really know what they're doing. Now, have you been on one of these boats yet? No. Hopefully, uh, I was just talking earlier to you today, um, 
Today at 12 o'clock, there's going to be a press conference at the Shrimp Box, and uh, we're going to have a couple of boats in the water, and uh, they're, they're willing to bring people out for, for rides, and uh, hopefully the media will take a ride and really understand the, the, uh, the excitement of, of, of the boats and how fast they go and things like that. Yeah, so I mean, it's going to be a lot, it's be I, a lot see of them, I see them ripping up and down yeah. the bay, yeah, yeah, and I'm just they're amazed. Moving. They're, yeah, moving. they're moving. They're moving. They're you moving. Know? And um, so then so we get into Saturday the 20th. Oh, yeah, great. Well, Saturday is going to be great because we have what's called Little Silver Lake a parking lot. It's a, um, a town parking lot, and we're closing off half of that. That's where all the boats are going to be on Saturday. And uh, so uh, anyone can can walk around and again meet the racers, check out the boats. Um, uh, the Rotary Club, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Rotarian. Uh, they're going to have a they're celebrating their 90th anniversary. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be very exciting for them. They have dunk tanks and face painting, and uh, they're going to have a beer garden, uh, and they're also going to have a slider competition. So uh, very very exciting uh, time uh, for Saturday, um, and then also Saturday that's when some of the boats test their. Um, you know, they're like they're, they're boats out in the ocean, so they'll be put in the water. Uh, so that's going to be a very exciting time. Also, Saturday at 4.30, uh, 5 o'clock, we're going to start a um, parade uh, down uh, Ocean Avenue. It'll come down Arnold Avenue to yep. Ocean Avenue. and It'll end at the uh, inlet. So we're really excited about that. When I was a kid sitting down Arnold Avenue watching the boats go by while they threw out candy, it's, a, it's just a great memory, you know. So... Um, uh, I want to I want to have that again. So we'll have fire engines and the police, and this is going to be a lot of fun. And then, uh, you know, on Saturday night, Jenkins is hosting a, uh, um, a cocktail party for the racers. And at eight forty five, nine o'clock, there's going to be fireworks. So you know, oh, we on. really have that's awesome. Uh, you know, three days, and then and then like the fun really starts um, leading up to that. But also, the fun really starts on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday. Uh, the boats are going to be starting to be put in the water around 10 o'clock. So if you're at uh, Broadway Bar and Grill or if you're at the Shrimp Box or you're at Red's and or at the Wharfside Patio, that's where the you, you're going you're gonna to be able to see the boats being put in the water at Ken's Landing, and then they're going to hang out before they have to go out into the ocean. And then, of course, everyone goes to the inlet and, and sit on the rocks while all the boats go out you know, into the ocean. Again, that's another memory I had. And uh, the place is going to be swamped, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. So if you're at the Shrimp Box and you're there having maybe breakfast or a drink and watching the boats, watch the I boats mean, go by. I it's going to be awesome. You cannot be in a bad position. Uh, the race itself, like I said, at 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock, um, you know, they're going to be, the race is starting. It's a, it's, it's a four-mile race. It's starting at from uh, south uh, of Jenkinson's. It's right in front of Jenkinson's, um, uh, down to uh, Bayhead and back. Uh, so it's a four-mile uh, loop. Uh, so you'll see boats, and they're in real close. Uh, you know, uh, the Coast Guard lets them in closer. I mean, they really right, want to be close. Very, very, I remember and, that. When I, I remember yeah. seeing it back in the 90s. It yeah, was always very yeah, close. We want them and, close. And you get everybody out there, and it's uh, you know, uh, definitely. You should not get a bad seat. And I want to talk a lot about when we come back from the news break, I want to talk about the fact that, you know, open to the public, all public access, when it really hit hard relative to, you know, where people can, can get their best seats, what they can see and what they can participate in. This is a great opportunity to remind you to join the conversation, 732-505-1160. Ask Mayor Reed about where he, they can, you can put your seat today so you can be there for next week. We'll be back in a moment. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Toms River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. I am Phil Brilliant. It is 734 and I am continuing the conversation here this morning with the mayor of Point Pleasant Beach, Stephen Reed. And we have been talking a lot about the race next weekend, which sounds like a fantastic event for everybody to get out and see something. And so I wanted to find out. So it sounds like everything we've talked about open to the public. Oh, absolutely. And what's great about this this year is that uh, years ago, the race used to start in Point Beach and Go all the way down Atlantic City out to Long Island, you would wait for you know, you know hours for the boats to come by. But what's going to happen this 
you know, this year is that uh, it's going to be a four mile course, uh, two miles from Point Beach to uh, um, to uh, Bayhead and back, uh, and they're going to be really close to like to the shore, so you're not going to miss a thing. Uh, it's rain or shine, so it's going to be, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to it. It's going to be highs of 80s that day. Absolutely. Guaranteed. Absolutely. Yep. And uh, that's what people ask me. What do you think? And I said, oh, the weather's going to be great. Weather's going to be great. I, I got it right here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's 109 in, in New Delhi today. That's yeah. coming our way. Yeah, it's coming our way. No, but it, there's not going to be a bad seat in the house. Uh, and, and we're really excited about our, our sponsors. I mean, you know, Jersey and Mike's is sponsoring the race this year. Um, and then, you know, we have Jenkinsons and Martells, um, you know, after these races, um, they're going to be the, the, like the boats are going to go back uh, to the winter circle, which is going to be at the wharf, uh, the wharfside patio. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So remember there's eight different categories. So eight different winners. Um, and, and then 40 boats, you said, yeah, yeah over 40 boats are wow. coming. And then, uh, and then that night there's going to, on Sunday night, there's going to be the war ceremony at the uh, Martell's uh, Tiki bar right on the beach. So it's going to be, it's going to be a great, great uh, four days. We're really looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, come on down. Please. And basically, so again, unlimited access, people are going to be able to come in. They're going to, they're going to pick their spot on the beach. Yeah, absolutely. They're going to pick their spot wherever they want to be, be able to see the race happening, yeah. be able to see, you know, the, on Friday and Saturday with the parades, um, yeah. no charge for anything. No. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, you have to pay to get on the beach, but pay to get on that, the beach. you know, uh, no, everything's going to be open to everybody. And I, again, I think the real great uh, place to watch is, is where the boats are going to be put in right. and at the inlet. It's really exciting, you know, leading up to that. Um, and then, and then the race itself. I it's, mean, it's kind of sounding like it's reminding me of the Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York, the Macy's yeah, Parade, yeah, yeah. which I've gone to several times. And one year, my friend took me to Hoboken, uh, and we saw the balloons being blown up. That was better than the parade. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. It was great. Phenomenal experience. So this is really, you know, get close. You probably be able to talk to the drivers. Well, that's just it. You know, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we have three opportunities for people to walk around, touch the boats talk to the uh, drivers and, 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 and the crew, and it's just going to be really exciting. And, and, and to see the boats being lifted and put in the water, and, you know, they, they, they bring their own crane. So they, they lift these boats up in the water, put them in the water. And, and when you see a 40-foot, and I can't wait to see it, because I just really started seeing some pictures. Right. But when, when, when Miss Geico, which is 40-foot long, gets picked up and put in the water, that's going to be really exciting. For some reason, when you keep saying Miss Geico, I keep picturing uh, you know, a, a woman in a green outfit. I don't know why I keep picturing that, but uh, well, well, this is probably a big boat. It's a big boat. Yeah. And uh, it's, I think it's one of the biggest boats. It's 40-foot long, and uh, it's fast. Uh, I asked the people, we had a boat race committee last night, I said, how fast do you go? And they yeah. said, how fast do you want to go? So I'm looking forward to seeing how fast they really do go. And I, I, I might get in one of these boats and, and I go you myself. Might. I might. You might. Today's been, a nice day. Today's a nice day for a ride. Promised, you know, so. press conference today, today's a yeah. nice day for a ride. It's be great. It'd probably be a good day to get out there. Yeah. And so people who want to find out more information or the schedule that we ran over, where's mm-hmm. the best place for them to get the information? Well, you know, uh, we have a Facebook, Point Pleasant Beach uh, Facebook uh, page. We also have a website, a Point Pleasant Beach website. Our Chamber of Commerce has it. Uh, the Offshore Powerboat Association, OPA, um, has the whole schedule. Uh, there's posters going up uh, galore. Uh, I hope after today um, with the press conference, I, have, I hope the media comes out. And really shows a um, um, you, know, you know puts a positive sp- you know spin on it. Uh, I would love the media to go in the, the boats themselves and really understand what it's like to go fast. I think we are going to have to make sure we leave a little note for Kevin Williams because I think I, I could see him. I know he was playing miniature golf the other day in Seaside, but I could see him on a boat in Point Pleasant. Now I, I talked to Kevin yesterday. He's old school. Uh, he remembers Benny Hanna, uh, so uh, I'm sure he's going to be excited about it. Uh, if uh, we can get him there, I think that'd be great. That would be awesome. So we always do on the uh, Wake Up with Jeremy Grennan show, we give you a magic wand. Mm -hmm. And if you had unlimited resources, unlimited money, unlimited availability and opportunity to help people, help causes, help the community, or help yourself, what would you do with that magic wand? Well, I think I'm doing it now. Um, You know, uh, last night uh, we had, like I said, the race committee. So bringing back the race is very important to me. And I think also the business owners, uh, especially the hotel motel owners, Mm -hmm. you know, they wanted something where um, uh, family fun um, could happen, where people would come and stay two or three days. So this is a week before the summer really starts. So I'm excited about that. Um, You know, we are, uh, we're we're trying to do great things. I'm trying to bring a trolley into town. Uh, So I have a tourism committee. And uh, we're looking at bringing two trolleys um, in, into town. Monday through Friday will be one trolley. Then on weekends, we'll add another trolley. Oh, great. Uh, so it's going to help all the businesses, going to move people around town. 
not only from the beach to the downtown to the hotel motels and bars. So we're really excited about that. Um, you know, we, we, we've been able to, as a town, uh, work with the local pastor and basically re- uh, rehab a, an old band shell um, that was it brought back a lot of memories because this is where bands used to play, and it was in disrepair, and, and now we've brought it back to uh, uh, where, where it's going to be a really great uh, focal point now you know, for the town. So uh, that, that money's coming from the town, but the hard, uh, the hard workers, from the school kids to the residents and to Pastor John and his people, uh, it's really worked out well. So um, I don't need a magic wand. We just we just need people and, and working together, and, and uh, so our town's great right now. So the, I'm pretty the big thing is, it. so Point Pleasant Beach is ready for the summer. We are ready. Open for we business, and everybody business. should be flocking down. Better, better than ever, our open arms. We're looking forward to seeing the people, um, hoping for good weather. Um, and, I, and I, I believe we are going to have you know great weather again this year. We had a great year last year. Um, homes are being rebuilt and raised, and uh, the it's taken some time, but uh, the people are excited about it. I mean, the town's really come back strong. Yeah, I think uh, you know the re- rebound from Hurricane Sandy. I think it's shown that people of the Jersey Shore are strong and are resilient and are are staying here and yeah. bringing more people from the outside into the Jersey yeah. Shore. Uh, absolutely. Um, you know. Um, uh, it's really interesting because, um, you know, after the storm, as, as I was a councilman at the time for four years, now I'm the new mayor, we were worried about, oh, what's going to happen? Are people just going to pick up and leave? And that didn't happen. Matter right. of fact, more people paid their taxes before. So uh, we're very excited about their dedication to our town. So we want to, as mayor and council, we want to dedicate, you know, doing, you know, doing the right thing for them because the, not only the businesses, but the residents, they're, they're, you know, they're staying involved and they're staying in Point Beach. And right. continuing to grow. You sound like a conversation I had yesterday. I always talk about the fact if you make people pay taxes or dues, you got to give them a product. And it sounds like you guys are giving a great product in Point Pleasant Beach I to those so. who live there as well as the surrounding communities yeah. and beyond. Yeah. So I, I congratulate you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Let's give one more time. So Point Pleasant Beach website, offshore website to get more information. Yep. PointPleasantBeach.org and then uh, OPA.com, uh, I believe, is uh, Ocean, yeah. Remember to come out and see the race next weekend. That is May 21st, 22nd. But it all starts on Thursday, the 19th. So Point Pleasant Beach is a place to be, and we'll be back in a moment.